The Syro-Malankara Catholic Church also known as the Malankara Syrian Catholic Church, Thogila, Marthoma Syrians. Syro-Malankara Catholics originated. In 1665 Mar Gregorios, a bishop sent by the Syriac Orthodox Patriarch of Antioch, arrived in India. The dissident group under the leadership of the Archdeacon welcomed him, though most of the saint. Thomas Christians gradually relented in their strong opposition to the Western control. The arrival of the Bishop Mar Gregory of the Syriac Orthodox Church in 1665 marked the beginning of a formal schism among the Saint Thomas Christians, those who accepted the West Syrian theological and liturgical tradition of the Syriac Orthodox Church of Antioch of Mar Gregory became known as the Jacobite. The Syrian Catholics remained in communion with Rome and later came to be known as the Syro-Malabar Church. Turbulence in Malankara Church It was in this contentious context that the 118th Syriac Orthodox Patriarch of Antioch, Ignatius Abdidaloho II, went to Malankara in 1911 and excommunicated Vatasriel Givarkis Mar Dionysius to ward off the undue interference of the Patriarch in the administration of the temporalities of the Church Fr. P.T. Givarkis with the blessing of Atasaril Thiramani contacted Ignatius Abdul Masi II, the 117th Syriac Orthodox Patriarch of Antioch, who had been excommunicated by the Ottoman government in 1906 and invited him to visit Malankara and to establish a Catholicate here. Accordingly, Ignatius Abdul Masi II went to Malankara in 1912 and established the Malankara Catholicate. This created a split in the church. The faction resisting the Patriarch's administrative interference became the Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church an autocephalous church under its head the Catholicos. The faction supporting the Patriarch's administration became the Malankara Jacobite Syrian Church. Baselios Paulosi, the first Catholicos, died after a short period of five months on 13 May 1913. The see remained vacant until 1925. That was a period of litigation in the Malankara Church. The litigation for Vatipanam and its after-effects in the community was at its zenith. Givarghese of Anios Givarghese was born on 21 September 1882 at Mavalikara to the Maliti Panikavital family, belonging to the Malankara Syrian Orthodox Church. He was given the baptismal name Givarghese. The Panakavital family were honoured with the title of Mylita Panaka, bestowed upon by the Maharaja of Travancore Marthandavarma, Travancore royal family. Panaka's family lineage also include him being grandson of the aristocratic St. Thomas Christian family Polokirakal with their Tharavardin, Mavalikara. The Polokirakal house held the highest ranking hereditary title for a Christian family in Travancore being of nobility titled as Tharakan and were of the highest ranking Christian peer to the Maharaja of Travancore. The Polokirakal House through the St. Thomas Christian Syro Malankara Catholic Church is acknowledged by Pope Pius XI and continues to do so by the Holy See of the Vatican City as one of the oldest St. Thomas Christian families with their tradition of origin being that their ancestors who were of a royal lineage from the Chera dynasty were converted by St. Thomas in 53 AD and preceding Western Christianity and Christian monarchies in Europe. Europe, starting with the first Portuguese discoveries including that of navigator Vasco da Gama. The house had evolved from accumulating one of the largest wealth through merchant trading from their oligopoly in black pepper commodity trading as part of the spice trade controlled by the Dutch East India during the age of discovery between the 16th and 18th centuries. The house's excessive wealth allowed them to become the court financiers to Mart and Ivarma and finance the Kingdom of Ened during the Travancore Dutch War in the 18th century against the Dutch East India Company. This culminated in funding the Battle of Kolachal in 1741 leading to Mart and Ivarma defeating of the Dutch East India Company which was the first 
loss of its kind by a European naval superpower in the Indian subcontinent. The House were signatories to the Treaty of Mavalikara in 1753 contributing to the establishment of the Kingdom of Travancore, diminishing the role of the Dutch East India Company in the Indian subcontinent and leading to the rise of the Maharaja of Travancore Marthanda Varma, and the Travancore royal family. At the age of 15 he joined M.D. Seminary School for High School Studies. On April 20, 1898 he received minor orders and was sent to Madras Christian College for higher studies. There he obtained his master's degree. On 15 September 1908 Jeevag Keys was ordained priest by Vatasari Ilmardinoitius. Just after the ordination Jeevag Keys was appointed principal of M.D. Seminary, Kottayam. Later he moved to Calcutta, accepting an invitation to teach at Siampur College. During his stay at Calcutta Jeevaghis founded a monastic community. Establishment of Bethany Ashram on Jeevaghis's return from Calcutta a friend, John Vakil, donated 100 acres of land at Mundanmala, Rani Perunadu, Kerala at the meeting place of the rivers Pampa and Kakit for an ashram. Jeevaghis and his followers built a small thatch hut at Wood became the first ashram in Malankara on 15 August 1919, named Bethany. Along with the ashram Jeevaghis started a house for orphans. While at Sarampur, Jeevaghis founded the Bethany Mad Home for Women Religious in 1925, with the help of the Epiphany Sisters of England working at Sarampur. He was ordained a bishop of the Malamkara Orthodox Syrian Church by Catholicos Baselios Jeevaghis I on 1 May 1925. He received the name Jeevaghis Maravanios. Ecclesial Communion on 20 September 1930 Maravanios Bishop Jacob Martheophilos, Fr. John Kujina Purath OIC, D.N. Alexander OIC, and Chaco Kilalath embraced and reunited with the Catholic Church. The reunion movement under the leadership of Maravanios gave rise to Malankara Catholic Church.